Hey everybody, in this video, I am going to show you um, some things from the chapter on descriptive statistics. This is chapter two in basic statistics for the behavioral and social sciences using R. And in that chapter, we show you how to describe categorical variables. So I thought I would show you how to do this here. Um, we show you one way in the textbook, but I'm gonna show you two ways here. Um, okay, so what I've done is I've set my working directory in our studio to my desktop, and I am going to open the hospital data set um, and that is what we illustrate for you in chapter two. So here you have uh, the hospital data set, and you can look at the variables in here just by clicking on this spreadsheet icon, and it allows you to take a look at the names of the, takes you, uh, gives you a chance to look at the names of the variables. Alternatively, if you wanna look at the names of the variables, I just do this to be able to make sure I spell things correctly, you can type head and hospital, and it gives you the first uh, six rows of each of the variables. So we're gonna just work on categorical variables today, and um, we'll take a look at the gender variable and maybe one other. So there are several ways to do this. I'm gonna show you uh, two of them here. So the first way I'm gonna show you is using just base R, that means with no packages. And this is a little bit more cumbersome, but it gives you um, some flexibility later on when you're doing some graphing. So the first thing we're going to do is create a vector um, in which we're going to sort the categorical variable into its different categories. So you can call this uh, vector anything, I suggest you don't call it the name of a variable because that will get confusing. Um, so why don't we sort the name, the gender variable into a, into a vector we call G and we're going to type in G and we're gonna assign that the value of the table of uh, the hospital gender variable. And once you type that in and hit enter, you'll notice that you'll have the, va the value for G uh, pop up in your environment. If you wanna see what those values are, you just type G, because that will display that vector. And here we have 23 females and 27 males in our data set or our sample. Very frequently, it's more helpful to look at this in terms of a proportion or a percentage. So to do that, we are going to, um, well, let's create another, ve another vector so we can store the proportions in there. So we'll call it G prop or G proportion. Now, why don't we call it G percent? And we'll assign that the value of the, the function in R it is called prop table of G, and we'll multiply that times 100. And that will also come up now in your values. And you can refer back to, this is where the flexibility lies. You can refer back to these vectors throughout your session. So if I type G percent, then we see that 46% of our sample is female and 54% is male. If we just wanna look at the proportion, which would be, um, the percentage divided by 100, you could store that as a separate vector, or you could just um, type prop dot table g, and that gives you those same values. Um, so that's one way to do it. The other way is a little simpler, um, but it requires installation and um, requiring of the package called HMIS. So the first time you use a package, you have to install it. After that, you don't have to install it. It'll always be there. And you're gonna see that this was really already installed, so I might have updated it. And you, this is, these are, your packages 
are in the packages pane, they're all in alphabetical order. And if I just click on the box next to HMIS, it requires that package and all the packages that it calls. And the um, command or the function that we're going to use from HMIS is called describe. And now if we type in uh, gender, it will give you everything that we saw previously, but in one step. So what this is saying is we have um, 50 values in the gender variable. We have no missing values. So we have um, information for every, observ every observations for every um, person. And there's two categories. And when we look down here, the categories are male and female. And these are frequencies that we saw above, 23 uh, females and 27 males, and that equates to 46% and 54% of our sample. Um, so that's it for this uh, video. Hope you enjoyed it.